Why don't churches open for the homeless to sleep in? Because they can get in trouble for it. HTTPS. Some churches support soup kitchens and shelters. Some have them on site or on a separate properties. Shelters are subject to zoning regulations. Very few people want the homeless to stay in their neighborhood. That can only work for a short time. And some do. Most churches are old and not equipped for living in, unless specifically built to do so, which many aren't. My church has the parish house for Sekate and is currently being used by a Syrian refugee family. My church has looked into that. We can't legally do it with our existing facilities because state local laws requiring showers and other amenities we don't have and would cost too much to implement. Sounds good in theory, but it's logistically a complicated issue. Churches aren't really built to be living quarters, but I am sure during emergencies, like floods and tornadoes, they could be used as a shelter, pretty much the same reason other buildings don't. Many do but liability is a big issue. Some do, at least here where I live. I volunteer with a non-profit program that hosts art workshops for all kinds of groups, and one of the organizations we work with helps unhoused people find churches that will open their property up for a safe night's rest. They also let them use Wi-Fi and a mobile shower trailer parks there for the evening. The big reason is that homeless people tend to make messes and steal things. If you just let them in unsupervised there would be real trouble. You'd find used needles in the pulpit and whatnot. You would also have them hanging about even when the church was in use. A church would have to pay for security and more for upkeep. Some churches do operate homeless shelters and the like, but those are usually separate facilities away from the church. Some do HTTPS colon mordinshaven.org programs emergency winter shelter program. Churches are private property and opening them up raises legal issues. There might be insurance limitations or zoning restrictions and building codes that prevent them from operating as shelters. That and hypocrisy. Why don't you open your tent and let them live with you? Because if they are not allowed to drink or do drugs in the building, they often don't want to be there. Who's going to stay with them each night? Where will they sleep? On pews? Where will they store their carts if belongings? They don't want to leave them unattended. I volunteer a couple of nights every year to do this at my church. Basically there's a program of about 26 churches in the region that all take two weeks a year providing homes in our community spaces. Because they'd shit on the floor. We have two local churches that do, 